Sorry, I, I there, the, some some Alabamians they they say pin instead of pen. But no, yes, yes, pen. I, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I usually would say fence, you know. But okay, so we need to come up with a variable, right? So you either got length or width. Which one do you want to make x? I'm, I'm going to go with width, and I'll, sh I'll show you why for a second here. So if we call the width x, right? So the width is equal to x. What's the length equal to? It's equal to 2x, right? So this is 2x, right? This is x. This is 2x. This is x. What's the perimeter? 100 feet, right? But also, what is it also? It's the sum of the lengths of the sides, right? So it's x plus 2x plus x plus 2x, right? 6x? I believe so, yeah. So what is x equal to? 100 over 6, right? What's that? I don't, I don't know. It's an ugly decimal, right? Uh, one point six 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 six. So this is approximately equal to one uh, sixteen point six six feet, right? So you could say one hundred one hundred over. You could say fifty over three if you prefer. Yeah. And what's so that's the what? That's the width. What's the length? Twice that, right? So, so that's 100 over 3 feet, uh, which of course is like 33.33 feet approximately. So the dimensions are 16.66 feet by 33.33 feet approximately. And I'm using the X there. You say, isn't that a little bit hypocritical on your part? You just got done talking about not using X for multiply like that. I know, I know, I did say that. But like, it's common, commonplace in like, you know, you go look at specifications of different hardware goods and stuff. They're going to use times for dimension, right? If you like go get a piece of wood from Lowe's, it might, like a preformed board or something, it might be like 40 inches by 20 inches or something, right? That's a common way of talking about dimensions, that time symbol. Did I, guys, did I ever tell you guys the, uh, the joke about a fence and a, a mathematician, a, a physicist, and an engineer? I don't think I've told you that. I mean, this is our second class. I haven't told you any jokes yet, have I? I mean, none that were funny, at least. Just we'll keep it that way. So here's the joke. An engineer, a mathematician, and a physicist are each given a certain length of fence, right? And they're asked to enclose the maximum area, all right? So what does the engineer do? The engineer says, oh, I will make, I will make a square fence, right? It's easy to design. It is, you know, it's a well-understood design. It's efficient. I'll make a square fence, easy. Right? The physicist says, oh, I'll make a circular fence because circle has perfect symmetry. Right? You know what the mathematician does? The mathematician takes the fence and fencing material and he just kind of arranges it around himself any old which way until it comes back together and he goes, I'm on the outside. See, that makes the area that the fence enclosed, everything outside the fence, that makes the rest of the surface area, the earth, the area he's enclosed. There exist classes that laugh at this joke. What's that? I find that below calculus 2 will not laugh at this joke. 
Actually, even calculus two is debatable. The point is mathematicians make definitions to serve them. <laughs> All right, anyway. Well, thanks, guys. I think we'll stop here for today. Have a good weekend. <laughs>